I'm just going to switch here to um, our BigFix mobile instance that we have here. So this comes under the uh, MCM. Uh, so it's, it's for a modern client management, you know, BigFix are modern. So here we have our updated modern client management dashboard with our notifications. So we can quickly at a glance see uh, with a security focus what is happening within our, our environment. So we can see our non-reporting endpoints. We can see endpoints that um, haven't reported in a very long time, so our stale endpoints. Um, and we can also see actions that are succeeding or failing. And if there's a platform issue, they'll show up here in this notification section. So we can quickly drill down between these uh, and take action on them, or we can collapse them once we've done with them. And then we have our tiles notification here where we have, again, this focus on securing your corporate assets and enhancing them, making sure they've got full disk encryption, making sure they've got the latest operating system, um, making sure that they've got a passcode. So we're specific for mobiles. You want to make sure that they're you know, protected um, and that your corporate data is protected there. So we can drill down on those and find devices that don't have a passcode. Um, so that's one of the things that you might want. So again, we've got, you know, people familiar will, will notice our, our normal interface to where we can, you know, search for a particular uh, device. And if it helps, if I can spell my name correctly. So we can see here that, uh, you know, my iPhone that I have here doesn't have a passcode. So, you know, I can drill down into that device and see the stats uh, for that particular device or, um, and see what operating system versions it's running. So um, once this loads, we can see here that it's definitely an iOS device and we can get stats and the last reported time or we can take action on it. But if we go back, uh, back a screen, um, we can actually do that direct from the screen as well. So we can select that device and, and up will pop, you know, the, the actions pane. So where we can take action, deploy, administer and configure. So we can actually deploy uh, an MDM policy, a mobile device management policy to that endpoint. So we're in the you know, passcodes without a policy. We know it doesn't have a policy on it. So this is where we can deploy that policy to it and uh, apply a passcode policy. So you, this takes us to the deploy policy, automatically adds that device because we've added it. Then we can you know, pick our policy and we can filter using you know, the refine my results. So we can filter it down on passcode policy. We know this is an iOS device, so we want to pick the iPad and iOS passcode policy that we have for our corporation here. So we can click deploy that and we can click deploy. This will then go and launch that action, right? And it will give us the deployment screen. And we can see not reported here. And if we switch over, so this is actually um, a set of mobile devices that I have here with me. Uh, so we've got all these mobiles here. We've got uh, uh, an Android and we've got an iOS device here and another Android here. So that policy is actually deploying out now through the network and you can see, bam, it's got that passcode policy. So it's prompting me to set a passcode policy. So this is how quickly we can take action on these devices. So this instance of big fix is in aws in the us somewhere and my device is sitting on my desk down here in australia so within less than 30 seconds we've been able to take action on that device and set a passcode policy on that so now that's going to keep annoying me for you know 60 minutes and, until you know i set a passcode policy on that particular device So the next, um, you'll see here, once we switch back to this, you'll see that it's actually reported up now as fixed. So it knows that it's got that passcode policy on there. It knows it's fixed it. Uh, so we can actually see um, the results happening pretty much in near real time. So, that, you know, just seeing passcode policies is not the, the entire, entire thing that we have within this. So, you know, that's how we can affect a single device. But what if we wanted to, uh, say, lock a device or, or do multiple devices. So back in our, our management pane, we can go and, you know, perform a mobile mobile device management action. So we can click on take MDM action. And in here, we have the updated interface with icons now that tell you at a glance what 
um, operating system each particular action effect. So we can see here, we can wipe a device across a range of devices, you know, Windows 10 enrollments only, Windows 10, or we can actually, you know, go and lock a device. So, you know, someone's lost their device and we, we need to lock that. So we can actually go up to here and uh, search for our device or, you know, define it down here um, using the results by Android. So we can actually see, um, and we're gonna pick on, again, another one of my devices that I have sitting here on my desk, um, and we can deploy uh, a lock uh, to that device. So again, if we quickly switch over, because sometimes this happens very quickly, we can see that that device is up and running and you know the screen's displaying, et cetera, and bam, uh, everything's just gone black. You know, it's received that passcode, that lock policy, and it's actually gone and locked the device. So now it's going to ask us to to authenticate with uh, our super secret uh, password here. So you can see that you know that's how quickly uh, we can affect a particular device. Again, you know, from the other side of the world, um, here I have my devices here, and again we look back here, and its report is fixed. So. That's how we can do that on a range of devices um, that we might have within our suite. Or, um, you know, how do we create those policies? How do we deploy applications to uh, a particular uh, suite of users? So, you know, we've got passcodes on here, but well, what about apps? Um, so we we again can you know jump to and you know our menu jump to menu and we can go and uh, configure. So. We have to configure the App Store association for those particular uh, applications. So up here in our configure, we have got set up App Store associations. for. So for our, our mobile device management team that you might have within your, they can go in here and set up those associations, you know, put in their app name and their, their com bundle ID, et cetera. Um, so here is where you can define what operating system is and what application. So you see, you can see we've got a bunch of applications ranging from uh, iOS to, to Android devices. Um, and there are a couple of differences between them for Android devices. You just require the, the, com, the, the bundle ID or the com bundle ID. Uh, for iOS devices, you re require both the store ID and, and the bundle ID to be able to do that. So you can we can use the actual web stores to get that. So you know for um, Android, we can you know go to the the Play Store and we can look for uh, PowerPoint. Let's say and we want to grab PowerPoint. So we can see here that our PowerPoint com bundle ID is is PowerPoint. You know com .microsoft .office .powerpoint. So we can go back here and and set up that association. Microsoft PowerPoint, and we enter that, enter our bundle ID, and we can save that. So that's just basically set up that associ association, but we, it looks like we've already got that one uh, listed in here. So it already exists in here down the bottom. So we can set up that association, or if it hasn't done it with uh, Microsoft out, um, sorry, with uh, iOS, it's a little bit more tricky. So you can go to the, um, app store, so apps.apple.com, and you can search for your app and it'll return your ID, right? So that's the, the store ID that it comes back with. Um, but to get the com bundle ID, there's a few different ways you can do it. One of the easiest is to use the iTunes API um, and you can look up the actual uh, iTunes ID. And then you can, uh, it'll report back uh, information and, and in, a, in a text file. So you can then open that text file up. Uh, and if we switch over to our, our text file that just opened here, we can see here it gives us back a multitude of information. But the, the one that we're after down here is our bundle ID down the bottom here. So that's where we can get uh, our bundle ID. So we know that it is microsoft.office.outlook. So we can see pretty quickly uh, at a glance exactly um, what ones we have and what we can set up our association. So once we've got our apps in there, we can then want to uh, deploy them or create a policy uh, to deploy those. So um, we can go and jump to our policies 
and we can then create those particular policies. So whether it be a, a restrictions policy, so you want to turn on certain features on the device or block certain features on the device, uh, whether you want to put in a passcode policy or whether it wants to be uh, an app policy. So we can create different ranges of policies and we can actually, you know, uh, filter down again and refine those results down by what type of policy that you want to actually deploy and what you don't what you don't want to deploy. So for for Android devices, um, we have to deploy those policies in a bundle, right? So we're in a group. So we can create actually a, a policy group, which is a collection of collection of policies that we'll actually deploy uh, down to that device. So you can see here we've got a number of different ones here um that we can create so for uh, android uh, again we can create a, a bundle id you can see here we've got different um policies here so we've got our standard application policy our android passcode policy and our restrictions policy so we can add a combination of of these in here and deploy that as, as one particular set of group um, to a particular machine so we can go ahead and deploy this uh, to one of our, our devices that we have here. So it's as simple as you know, selecting that and then going deploy uh, um, group action. So we can go and you know, pick on, one of the, again, one of these machines that we have sitting on my desk here. Uh, so we'll bring that one up here. And we can, again, search for it, um, find the device in question that we're going to target or target a group of devices. Uh, and then we can deploy that. So once we, we kick the deploy, that'll send it off to the MDM plugin portal and now initiate our APNS or Google Cloud notification actually out to that device. So what we have here is this is the device that we have. Uh, so you can see here, there's, there's no actual apps on here at all. This is just a, a default enroll device. So nothing else is happening with that device. We've just, I've just enrolled it uh, previously and you know, it's sitting there waiting for that. So we'll again see shortly. So you can see here, request Uber a ride to start to download. So it's actually got that, um, you know, this is my own personal device. So, you know, we've got all these different notifications coming up and uh, clicking to certain things. So, you can see here now that it will start to download applications and install these applications on this device because we've actually um, asked it to go and do that. So that that's how quickly it can affect. So soon these will actually will show up. So while we're waiting for those to show up and, and it's deploying down, it's well, how does the user actually enroll um the device so you can see here it's now deployed uber and it'll it'll continue to deploy the rest of those devices as well as apply the restrictions that we've had so over here on, on the left we've got another device you'll see here that uh, this device isn't enrolled so it doesn't have a work profile it doesn't have anything like that but you know by emailing out to the end user a link or, or getting them to go to a web page we can quickly uh, open up a website and they can authenticate with their their credentials for that corporation and actually log in right so this will then step them through the the android uh, work profile enrollment so here it'll actually go and enroll the device so it'll start setting up the work profile asking them for the terms and conditions so you know it's it's a light touch just clicking a few buttons and this will start enrolling them and then our policy for BYOD will come down because this is an over-the-air enrollment for, for a bring-your-own device. It's not a corporate enrollment. So our default policy that's applied to our BYOD users will then uh, come up and it'll start registering. So, um, you know, this is an emulated device. It, you know, it will take a minute or two to actually do that. But if it was a physical device, it would start going through its motions and it'd be done and, and ready to done go. So look, that's just quickly um, how we can do uh, the mobile stuff.